Hey everybody, it's Carmen and welcome back to my channel. If you are a brand new sewer or like me returning to sewing after a long time, welcome. Hit that subscribe button below, touch that notification bell and you will be on the VIP list next time I upload a brand new video. I want to give a great big thank you to my photographer this month, my handsome husband, who is my photographer every month. We are getting so much better at what we are doing. I'm getting better at the recording and the editing, and he's getting better at taking my picture. So thank you so much for that, hun. It is hard to believe that we are done with July, right? Where did the year go? We've gone from January to COVID to July. <laughs> You know, time just flies. In July was a, a bit busy for me personally with some things going on in the community that I am involved in. So I didn't get as much sewing done as I have done in months past, but I was able to do a few pieces that my wardrobe really needed. So I'm really excited to share those with you now. The first outfit is New Look 6070. New look 6070. I made this top in the past. I made view A with the three quarter sleeves in the past, but this time I did view B and I paired it with a new look skirt 6789. New look 6789, also a skirt that I've done in the past and I love it. As you can see, I got several different looks with this outfit. You know, when you create a couple of basic pieces like the white pants and the black pants that I made in, in June, I also made a couple of skirts in May, very basic, the, you can take something like this and really change the look of an outfit. This was a linen blend that I purchased from Facebook Marketplace. The top is a wrap top. I did the uh, no sleeve version. It has uh, facings in the armhole, uh, of course, back facing and a front facing. It wraps in the front. I don't think it goes too low, but I maybe have to wear a cami, a little lace cami, uh, depending on where I wear this to. It's a beautiful top. It's got the fish eye darts in the back, fairly easy to construct. It has these long, thin straps. You will need something like this. I don't know what it's called. A turning thingam thingamabob <laughs> uh, to turn those straps around uh, easily. So that was the no sleeve top. The black top, I made this maybe last year it was. So it really, I really lucked out that it, it worked also with the outfit. Three quarter inch sleeves. It has facing at the end of the sleeves there. The Fish eye darts in the back again. Um, this fabric I purchased it from Walmart of all places, and it does have a little bit of a stretch, which is nice for um, comfort. So that worked out nice. And I paired it with the skirt, New Look uh, Six Seven Eight Nine. New Look Six Seven Eight Nine is this skirt, beautiful skirt. I've also made this in the past. I'd like this skirt because it comes up to the natural waist, even though it doesn't have a waistline. It fits up at the natural waist has beautiful darts in the front, darts in the back for shaping. It says that it's an easy one hour sew, but it took me an hour and a half. I don't know, maybe I'm a slow sewer. It has a slit on the side, but I'm really pleased as at uh, how this turned out. I was able to get a lot of different looks with these garment pieces. I wore it with the white 
drawstring pants that I made in June, as well as the black new look pants that I made in June. And I will list those pattern numbers for you uh, below in the description box. Which was your favorite look? Comment below, I'd love to hear. The next piece was Simplicity 2703. 2703, I made the tank top. 2703 and I paired it with the pants from New Look 6684. New Look 6684, these pants. Another really great outfit that I'm, I'm really pleased at how they turned out. I must be getting better. I'm really pleased at how it turned out. The top was, uh, it was a little tricky. It has inverted pleats here. I don't know if you can see inverted pleats at the top. And after I put the facing in and everything, I lost one of the pleats. So I had to kind of fake a little pleat there uh, just to balance out the look. But I, I think in the pictures, you can't even really tell. This has a facing in the um, front armhole and back. I think that the next time I'm gonna try to do it without that facing. It was, this facing is almost like a lining of the bodice. So it really comes down kind of low. So um, it's comfortable and all, but it's a pain in the butt to put it on. And I tacked it all down, but you have to make sure it's all kind of smooth when you, when you put that down. So this fabric, came also from the Facebook Marketplace purchase that I made and the lady said she had purchased it from Hawaii. So I'm hoping it was Hawaii Fabric Mart. This top also has a almost 20 inch zipper on the side and it's really cool. It zips from bottom up. So um, see, it's a, put an invisible zipper and it zips from the bottom up. That is the top. The pants, I'm really, I really love the feel of this. This is a linen blend from Joann Fabrics. The only thing with these pants is they don't come to the waist. They're like an inch, an inch and a half below the natural waist. So there's a little bit of finagling you have to do to make sure you get that fit right. So I don't think it looks so bad. And I really wanted a looser look pant to go with the very fitted top. And I think that the two look really well together. This top, I'm so happy, it's got white in it. It also looks good with my white pants. It looks good with my short little white skirt if I wanted to give it a little bit more of a casual look too. Really pleased with it. I blind stitched by machine all the hems that I had to do on my garments this month. Again, I, I really love to be able to do that. And on these pants also, you had to slip stitch the facing on the inside. So. Um, there was a lot of slip stitching done again this month, but I'm getting better. The last is the outfit that I am wearing. It is Simplicity 5555. Simplicity 5555. And I paired it with my favorite shorts so far this summer, Vogue 9191. super easy sews. If you are a beginner sewer, here's an outfit that you can pull together for this summer and, and you know, say I made it. So the, um, the top is a beautiful brushed knit uh, from Joanne Fabrics. Uh, ties in the back and I think the back is uh, generous enough. I am wearing a halter bra that I purchased from Target. So, and I was, I feel like you cover the bra well. The uh, shorts, of course, are made of a mustard colored linen from Joanne Fabrics. Um, I love the shorts. You re may remember that I made black shorts, and it's my hope to also make some white shorts. 
uh, for the end of this summer. Thank you so much. I hope you were inspired by something that you saw. Comment below and tell me what you're working on next, and I'll talk to you soon.